What do we have here? What do we have? We have the concept COVID. I got vaccinated as soon as I saw this. I knew I wanted it, but I thought I can't handle COVID safely without getting vaccinated. So went out and got vaccinated and I was sick for three days, but maybe it was worth it until I got it in the mail and then I actually read the label closer. That's not COVID. That's Corvid. Oh, crap. Oh my God. Well, I guess it's okay. According to Rachel Maddow, I'll never get sick again because I got vaccinated. <laughs> oh my God. Dr. Rachel Maddow, the four Pinocchios woman. <laughs> Oh my God. I mean, I have never known so many people to have COVID that I actually personally know right now that have all been vaccinated. <laughs> so, but now that I listen to Rachel, hell, I'm, I'm good forever. Okay, so it's not the COVID, it's the Corvid. I should have, it should have, should have occurred to me when it started with a K instead of a C. Oh, well, whatever. All that down. Now I got probably secret, tra secret tracking shit in my bloodstream. Oh, my God. Okay, so now, um, 154 CM steel. I, I just can't believe it. Oh, but this is vicious. This is vicious. I wanted this knife. I saw it, and I'm going, please, if there is a God in heaven... Let's make sure that White Mountain still has one in stock. Because I wasn't up on this when it first came out. You know what? So it's like, please, Justin. And, you know, I didn't want a coated blade. Okay, I'm sorry, but no, I didn't want a coated blade. So I had a choice between this and this. These two were still in stock. Everybody else wants to go badass here. So these two were still in stock. So I got this one because I'm going... Hello, it's tan, and you know what we can do with tan? 78 bucks minus 10% discount, LTK discount code. So what's that? I mean, hell, it's a 154CM, and it's a, it's a, it's a oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I want to show you this shit, because this is insane, too. I mean, you, you know, it's like, hold on. Phil Harvey knife. You know, this is a Phil Harvey knife, right? Isn't this a peacemaker or peacekeeper or something? Like, this will keep a piece keep a piece of your hand that we just cleavered off into a jar next to the bar. I mean, and this is is way less than a ten thousand dollar <laughs> Phil Harvey knife or whatever the hell they cost. Uh, getting them from him. But this is, you know, hey, it's in the low 70s. I can do this. And don't you love the sapphire blue? Sapphire blue. It's insane. It's crazy. It's out of control. It's right hand tip up only, by the way. I didn't realize it was this big. And somebody else said that last night. It was that girl I was saying, oh, no, that was, there was a guy on Instagram saying, I didn't realize it was that big. Um, and you know what? I didn't either when I first saw it come out. Of course, everybody's been talking about the micro, which is like got a 1.45 inch blade. <laughs> I think the whole thing will fit between here and here, you know, in your hand. It's like ultra micro i'm gonna get it i gotta get it though i'm still gonna get it but this i really wanted to get it okay and now i got it that's for sure and we will take it apart even though obviously it's already been taken apart because we dunked we dunked it we dunked it good um it's got multi-row ceramic bearings on here by the way, I might have a picture of that shit, too. Um, bing, 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 bing. See? Multi-row ceramic bearings. Ah, this is good. Well, I mean, you know, and I got it on a Saturday, right? So, 
you know, you can't go to the post office on Saturday, the one that's near me, because they don't have hours. They don't have counter hours. So I'm going, oh, my God, I hope that I hope that package arrives because uh, I do not want to wait until Monday. So sure enough, packages arrive. And I pull this baby out, and my wife just, I go, oh, look at this, honey, ah, and she, like, just looks back down at her iPad and kind of shakes her head, um, because she knew there was a 12-year-old boy that just suddenly appeared. (laughs) I mean, oh, my God, this is just, it, it was just that good. She find, I mean, I said, oh, I got to die the scales right now. And she's like, oh, geez, it's going to destroy my kitchen. So then she went down to the bedroom and closed the door to watch TV. So when I got done doing this, I go down the hallway to the bedroom, chop a big hole in the door. Here's Johnny. And she thought I had an axe to grind with her. I said, no, honey, I'm here to bury the hatchet. So uh, that really scared her, actually. Um, so here we are with, with the Corvid XL. And now I have to live in my little office thing now. So I've been banned from the rest of the house. But it's worth it. It's worth it. I had this in my pocket last night when I was watching NFL football down at the pub. Whoosh. Yeah, I. you know what? Usually the bar's really crowded. For some reason, after I whipped this out, I mean, half the seats were were open. It was really nice. I could really spread out, felt comfortable. <laughs> oh, man, this is a mess. This is a mess. Oh, Coke tools. Like, so I was kind of, when I first saw this, I mean, I thought, Cancept Knives, really? Are you doing this, you know? And... Um, I thought, what are you snorting that you're going to do this? And I thought, well, apparently it's good. It's Coke. <laughs> That's what they're snorting. So uh, so this is Coke. Uh, this is their design. And uh, I think they did a little kind of slippy that kind of looks like this, you know. And then they have like ED, little EDC carry tools and stuff that they do if you look at their site and stuff. So that's what this is. I can't believe I've taken this much time already. Uh, but we will take this apart. This is, oh, hold on. Let's just get the scales here to hell with that. Mm. I mean, it's not four millimeter blade stock though, so it's not that bad. Now, it's about 8.6 ounces, by the way. Hold on, 243 grams. Let's let's do this. Let's roll around. Come on. I got got Frosty. Oh. And Max. Come here, Frosty. Come here, Max. Okay, Frosty. Now let's... Okay, so there's, there's that. And Max. Whoops. My Maximet and my M4... PM2 together, together are still lighter than that knife. Oh, well, by the way, let's do this then. Come here. Well, Max. Okay, Max. That's good enough. Um, yeah, I'm going to say the Corvid XL is bigger. Yes, it is. And see, it's not so much that it's that long because it's under nine inches. But it's just the fact that it is so freaking tall. I mean, it is ginormously tall, okay? You could probably eat two of these up, spit out the rest. I mean, it's just insane. It's insane, okay? So, yeah, it, it's, it's got some height to it, by the way. And so, I mean, I thought, well, this got to be four inch blade but it's not it's you know down here like 3.8 something whatever and so it's like 90 uh, maybe 96 97 millimeters but up here 95 at like three and three quarter overall length eight and three quarter at not quite 22 and a half centimeters so it's not incredibly huge oh by the way let me do another comparison while i'm at it because this came out of the dye pot too this is my migron verona part two because i have one in 
that I did in tropical teal. And this is the one I did in sapphire blue. Okay. So which one's bigger now? And this one's longer. I mean, there's no question about that. But this one, whew, amazing. Oh, this is, whoever didn't get one of these, I pity the fool. Okay, so this one now, if you don't get one of these, uh, I think I'm going to have to send Bubba around and revoke your man card because this, this demands it, really, really. It, it's uh, it's kind of like I, start, I wrote an I wrote a email to a Cancep. Dear Cancep, thank you for growing a pair of testicleaters enough to really put, I mean, in the year of the mini knife and the micro knife, right, baby banter and all the bullshit, they're willing to put something out like this. I mean, you got to give them a big round of applause. This one's centered. This one, I think blade to handle length is, is plenty there. Okay. I mean, in no uncertain terms and, and well, you can flip. Okay. Um, you can come up behind that, uh, ambidextrous thumb stud on the back and you can flick it although it's really close up to this pivot so it gives you a kind of an odd angle there a little bit more difficult um okay yeah you can do it you might have to dig into it a bit and then this is kind of a gentle slope on this fuller so it's not gonna be super easy plus this is tall to try and get everything wrapped around but you can do that too. You can middle finger flick from that fuller. Okay. So you can do that. Plus, I mean, this blade is heavy enough. You can do that. So you can just click it out by, by wrist snap and then, or, you know, the thumb stud, the thumb stud, the, the fuller back finger flick or the flipper tab. And then you can jump up on here. Hold on, piece of paper, please. Oh, oh, we're showing off now. Oh, okay. Okay, so it'll get her done. Get her done. Where's that pork roast? Psh, psh, psh. Um, yeah, I mean, this ought to uh, come in handy, so to speak. I mean, 154 cm, so it's stainless, so you could use it in the kitchen. You know, I think it, I think it'll, I think it'll chop your vegetables. That's for sure, and it's got enough heft to it. You know what I'm saying? Even though this is only, by the way, um, 0 0.13, 0 0.14. Make up your mind, damn it. Uh, see, I'm gonna say, hold on, let me push this. Yeah, 3.5. So it's not even four millimeter blade stock and 14.7 millimeters of 0.58. So it's not even six tenths. But the problem is, I mean, it's not really a problem for me, but it's, you know, it's one point, uh, almost one and a half inches tall here. And if you kick this around and, you know, the PM2 is... 1.6 inches from the tallest area, you know, up and down. But this son of a bitch, hold on, this is gonna be more than 1.6 inches. I promise you that. Yeah, there's an extra inch on top of that. So where are you? Come on, Frosty, you can do this, right? I mean, that's that's where it is. Okay, front to back real estate in your pocket. Yikes. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. And bink, told you it was 1.6. So, I mean, this one guy was saying, oh, and he, I was sitting there with this in my pocket while this guy commented on my Instagram going, you couldn't even put that in your front pocket. Oh, with, but it was in my front pocket. I, 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 I messaged him back on Instagram going, I don't even know it's there. And I did. Uh, my right leg was asleep, by the way. Uh, but I, no, I didn't know it was even there. It was, yeah, I mean, it, it I didn't think it was a problem myself, personally. Uh, so, yeah, I, I like it. And really, 
it didn't feel, I mean, you know, I was wearing, you know, regular kind of heavyweight jeans and stuff. So, I mean, I didn't think it sagged my pocket lip or anything like that. And I wasn't wearing one of my $10,000 Armani suits or anything. Like I've got a dozen of them or so. Uh, just kidding. But yeah. And uh, this is a gentle roll, isn't it? Right here. But I mean, yes, Clarice. You know, get that liver, some fava beans, and uh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, but this, this is just more fun than should be legal. And I'm sure there will be some kind of a mandate come down to kill this fun right here, you know. Uh, it's something like that. I don't know, man. It's just getting ridiculous. Ain't no fun no more. But this one, oh yeah. I, I'd say, okay, so if I'm going to get serious about this knife and kind of have something to bitch and moan about, I think it's kind of glaring here. There's your pass-through area. It, it, I think it's, I mean, it's all it can be, and it's maybe a little bit more than it should be. It's a little too much differential height-wise here. See, I, I think they could have not done as much here and still made it extremely easy to disengage. Now, this thing is quick over the detent ball, and look at this. I mean, that blade, you don't have to coax it to drop, okay? Um, it's heavy enough. And with the multi-row ceramic bearings, right? Okay, what's the, uh, what's this? Eh, it's 30%. It's 30%. Um, so that's all right. Uh, ergos are fine because this is neutral. Although, see, with this height differential here, it does... You know, I mean, your finger's wrapped and I'm not touching this side. So I feel like I'm hanging on a ledge a, a little bit. I mean, it's kind of, this little area is fitting right into the crease of this joint. So, okay. Yeah, but, mm, it, I mean, I'm just saying this should, this should come up or this should go down a little bit. One of those things. But still, whew, that's a heck of a knife. Still got to get to micro, though. I'll have to do that. Micro and this one together would be great. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, I really like the knife. It's just a blast. And, you know, there's been some Wii knives that they've done that, you know, I mean, not Wii, but Savivi's done some knives that were cleaver-ish. And um, I like them, too. But they're not as just absolutely nightmare alley nasty boy as this one is this one is right there i mean it is pretty insane it's borderline budget phil harvey isn't it i mean a, a bit more like that so yeah i like it i like it um you know they could have done one that was instead of a 1.4 inch blade they could have done one that was a little smaller and dare I say that maybe we could have done a full four 4.2 inch blade with nine inches overall length would just be tremendously tremendous and it would get into my pocket sword zone you know because this is under nine inches overall length and my pocket sword you know classification starts at nine inches this one, I don't know, might have to get an honorary membership, right? Because if there's a beast in the bunch, this is a beast. That's for sure. Where's my, where's my center of gravity on this? That's pretty close to that pivot area. So how about reverse grip, baby? Take them all down just like a, like a bunch of trees. I mean, that is... That is amazing. That is amazing. I love it. By the way, by the way, um, got the paperwork in here, got a little microfiber cloth, blah, blah, blah. But then instead of that little Velcro kind of uh, closure pouch, they've got this instead. So they put her in a bag. 
I don't think it was going to fit in that little Velcro normal fold-over pouch that they have. So that's what this became all about. Kind of uh, different, but a roughy tufty uh, box. Like I said, here's the model number on this one, minus the blue uh, die, actually. Okay, I think it, think it, think it, think it. Oh, this, I think this is going to spin on me, isn't it? I think this is what this one did last time when I took it apart. Okay, um, I can't remember that it really made much difference here, which way this came apart. When I took it apart to dye the scales, and I know these broke away pretty easy. And they are going to, again, do that. But for some reason, this standoff kept turning on me. And so where's my little uh, helper tool? Here's my knife, buddy. Okay, come on. We'll get her done. And of course, it's going to come from the opposite side. Okay. Let's get these picked up. I'm trying to cut our hand off in the process. Okay, there's the standoff that will not cooperate at all. So, and it's uh, obviously very much skeletonized there. But this is the presentation side. Okay, and multi-row ceramics right here. So, um, I think the biggest... Uh, thing about that is how wide this bearing ring is that is giving a lot of support especially to a big huge blade like this I think that's the important thing there and then check this out uh, so I'm not seeing anything on here that keeps this pivot from turning around and around. So you might want to watch what kind of what kind of thread locker you put on here when you reassemble your knife, etc. Because now the good thing, of course, you got, you know, you got the ability to put a, a number eight in the front and the back and break it loose. So that's that's the saving grace there. That's it. We got a ceramic detent ball. Of course, these are steel uh, liners, and they're not embedded. And they, you know what? Um, let me see. Uh, well, crap. That's not going to work. Let's see if this will work. This will work. Okay. Let's do this and get this. 0.07 almost two millimeters is the thickness on these liners that's that's pretty good right there that's pretty thick as a brick as a brick okay kick you back in there I still got lube from when I tore it apart put it back together so I'm good there and put this on here and compress the lock with a blade like that, it shouldn't be hard to compress the lock. Get my other wild and woolly bearing ring on there. And then it should just go slap right down here fairly easily. Yeah, like that. Okay. Um, kick this in. And set you up. Okay. 
There we go with that. And are we lined up? It looks like we are. Shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, why have I got number six out there? I don't need it. And we're locked down there. Of course, you can see there's a lanyard hole, but it's not it's not tubed or anything. And one last screw. Okay, now. Okay. Yeah. She's still dropping. No blade play or lock rock, anything like that. But it's, uh, she's a good one, isn't she? All right, back with the Corvid, not COVID, Corvid XL, XL, by the way. <laughs> insane, insane knife. And we love it. We do love it. It is way cool, nice and grippy G10. It is a maximum handful. There is no question about it. But I like the materials and everything. I do like the price, that's for sure. I mean, 72 smackaroos. Uh, yeah, I can live with that, you know. Uh, there's a lot of material on a per pound basis. I call it a great bargain. <laughs> A great bargain. I mean, it's like two of two of the Frosties right here, and she was not seventy some. Neither was Max. Max, you were not neither. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you to it. Hey, sub to my channel. Join my Patreon if you want in on the knife sale, early birds, and you guys stay sharp.